We have to go now. Okay, let's go. Make sure you cover the whole uh -oh. You're shitting me? Oh fuck. There's more than one person here. Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. I okay. could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? What about in the laundry bin? Where are they? No. Nope. Can't hide in there? Damn it. Hello? Oh god, I can't see anything. Otters eat beavers. <gasps> what? Did you see that? No. It's a lesbian joke. It's very important. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Anybody there? Oh. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Uh. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't know how to hide from this guy. Like, what do I do? I don't know. Maybe we just stay on this side? Yeah, maybe. Hello? Anybody there? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Why this is so stressful? Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Guys out there. Yeah. Where do I hide? That's mean. Maybe we need to go back in the pool area? I don't know. Where's Chloe? Oh yeah, that's where we needed to be. We are so invisible. Well, well shut up. up. Yeah, let's get the frick out of here. Wait a second, that's that, not right. That was refreshing. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? <laughs> okay. Into the car. I just realized something. What? I'll say as soon as I can. Get in there. First of all, I would like to say that people giving me shit for not understanding what an outside and inside asset is. Oh, life is strange. Stop working. I would like to point out to all the people who said, Oh, Mari, you don't understand what an inside and outside asset is. I'm like, oh, really? Then how come in different instances that's there and not there when they're in the car? That's two times where it's switched on and off with that graffiti inside of her car. Mm -hmm. That means something. Sleepover! Woohoo! You know what I noticed? What? I think Chloe doesn't like handicapped people. Because 
she was willing to steal from the handicap fund and she double parked across two handicapped parking spaces and her hair looks fucking awesome right now. Yeah. Wow. I can't sleep. Oh. She's wearing a skull on her tummy. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> oh, she probably borrowed that from Chloe because she was wearing the deer shirt. You know what's weird though? What? That Chloe has a no, no, rad no. shirt to let her friend borrow? That and Max also has the very colorful skulls on her shoes. How come Take Chloe? Selfie. How come Chloe ha wears like black and white skulls and Max wears colorful skulls? But I think that that's Chloe's shirt. You know, but Max is wearing it. You know what I'm trying to say? Just saying. I'm saying I am Chloe, and that is a shirt I would own. So I clearly reject the premise of what you're trying to say right Stacey's now. Stacy's getting mad because she thinks that I'm stealing. Her imaginary shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mari Max. I mean, Max. I mean, I'm, my name's Clo No, it's Stacy. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> I wonder if that's because, like, Max does, like, photography and, like, sees things in color, but Chloe's hair is very colorful, so. I feel like the black and white just represents death. Because mm. every time she covers up her tattoo, that's when she's in danger. Yeah. And whenever she doesn't have her tattoo on and when she's hot and naked, she doesn't die. So I'm just saying, what Chloe needs to do is just be in her underwear all She the was time. wearing colorful panties. I know, because she's safe so long as she's <laughs> wearing in her color underwear. In her underwear. <laughs> Someone needs to tell Chloe this. <laughs> Don't wear clothes. Always remember this moment. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. Let's just enjoy the moment. Yeah. Right? I feel like I can feel the air. You know what I mean? They're, they set the atmosphere so perfectly. I'm so wiped out from last night. But it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. That's the second time she said that. Do you think Rachel's stuck in time? Possible. Maybe Rachel had time travel powers. That's what I think is more plausible than Max being Rachel. Because I feel like... Right. That is not plausible. Okay, you know what I mean. I don't want to be too much of a dickhead, but it's Oh, like... well, I know, and I suppose I shouldn't either, but I just... I feel like Rachel's stuck in time, and she's trying to keep Chloe safe, too. Ooh, and maybe send, like, signs to them from where she is. Yeah. Like in, uh... Well, I don't want to give a spoiler to whatever movie I'm trying to refer to. Like all those movies. Yeah, so I think Rachel's stuck in time. Because Max is, you know, sometimes... Well, it could be, like, with, you know, River and Doctor Who. Hello, sweetie. Yeah, that's what I think. Mm -hmm. That's not a spoiler, because that's a few years old, so yeah. it's okay. 
that's so you yeah, I definitely think that's true. That graffiti and stuff where it says this is bigger you than you and like stuff like that. I think that's Rachel mm -hmm. trying to say something. And Rachel was the butterfly. Yeah. Okay. Just keep going to the bathroom, Mama, so you'll be right back. New video. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Uh, I don't like oh. the way you're talking to me, Warren. Uh, mm, can you, like, I know that you're, like, a cool guy, but can you, like, you know, like, chill a little? This is like, the, of all of the things that you've said concerned you about Warren, this is the least of them in my opinion. This is like the thing that I saw like, glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night, almost glad. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular so I'm buying the tickets now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Smiley face. Like, you know how I am That is though. so laid back. Yeah, but you know how I am. You forget that you forget that I'm not as open to other people as I am to you. Mm -hmm. You forget that, like, when I talk to other people, I'm like, they're secretly trying to kill me. Everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, so, I'm usually very paranoid of humans. She hasn't answered. She usually she answers. Oh, wait, there's more. So sh they had a couple texts in between. Uh. <laughs> oh, please. I just want to see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible artwork. This is in the morning. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I'll be moshing today. <laughs> She's got the anarchy shirt. <laughs> Man, Girl. if I had stayed hidden, David wouldn't be targeting me. Oh, that's the game's way of saying, you fucking suck, bitches! <laughs> Good job! Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Oh I had that phone. Yeah, but it, me too. But, I was obnoxiously pink. Mine was purple! I okay. think that's a crazer. I had a razor. Yeah, I had a razor and a crazer. Everyone else had crazy crazer. Everyone had hip tops. Do you don't remember what a hip top is? No. They were like the old school smartphone. Mm. No. The fact that she put the photo <gasps> next to Rachel is so touching. Mm. 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 Patting my chin. <laughs> That's your cheek. They didn't need to know that, Stacy. <laughs> you just called me out. Uh, not knowing your words. Not knowing my face. So complicated. Uh, what? Don't be a dummy. Cover your willy. But why does she have condom? Hey! What? Why does she have condoms? Why wouldn't she have condoms? Because she's a lesbian! She doesn't have to be a lesbian. Really, all the cool chicks are bisexual, Mari. Okay. All the coolest girls. I just want her to only want to be with Rachel and Max. Yeah, I agree. But it's also like, I still... But she could also be one of those girls who, like... It's just like, whatever. Likes the subversive idea of a condom. You know what I mean? Yeah. How chicks are just like, oh, like, I'm in high school, condoms are so badass, whatever. And, like, collects them from places that she goes to. It's not, it's not that I'm upset that she's not a quote-unquote lesbian it's that i had this whole fantasy in my head where it was like she and rachel were together and then that got destroyed by that stupid letter where it was clear that rachel had no idea that chloe was in love with her mm -hmm. and then like and then i was like that's okay like 
it's gonna be okay like it's gonna be an, another lesbian adventure and then I see a condom and I'm like no what? well it's also entirely possible that those are just like there just happens to be the two people she has crushes on no I'm saying like that do you know like how some people will have like a condom in their wallet for literally five years don't never, do that kids don't do that by I mean, the way I mean whoa adults <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that because it, it compromises the integrity of the condom. They actually do expire. And, and they expire. You, and exposed to heat, like, in your pocket like that, it can It'll break degrade it down. the condom. Yeah, don't yeah. do that. Um, don't do it. Well, I mean, have condoms. Just don't keep them in your wallet or anything because and it'll And also, break. always always bring your own. If you're a lady, bring your own condoms. Yeah. There's, you know, like, how people are like, oh, well, like, I just have, like, a condom as a joke. I was like, okay, no, you have a condom. You're an adult woman. If okay. you want to play it off as a joke to feel better about it, that's fine. But, like, you don't have to be ashamed of it. Yeah. Can I... Everybody Can I remind condoms. you of that time I, I lent you one of my condoms and then someone... Excuse would... me? Why are you bringing that up? <laughs> I just wanted to know if that was okay or not before I said it. <laughs> I can edit that out. But we can tell the story if you want, but we don't have to. Oh, my God. Are we seriously bringing this up? We now? don't have to. That's why I'm asking. Go ahead, Mari. I can't, am I allowed to? Yeah. Is it okay? Are you sure? Go for it. Because it has nothing to do with, like, Stacy. It was literally me. This is... This, you know what? No shame on Stacy because this story is fucking crazy. I was like, oh, like... Because I had recently gotten my IUD... <laughs> So I didn't need them anymore, and I was like, oh, Stacy, do you want my condoms? And I just, like, gave them to her, and she's like, sure, whatever, and just threw them in her purse. Yeah. And <laughs> an IUD is a type of birth control. <laughs> and I had been with Raphael for a long time at that point. She's like, sure, whatever, she throws them in her purse. But the guy she was seeing went through her purse, <laughs> grabbed them, and he was like, what are these, magnums? Like, what, what? the Fuck? Do you only like guys with big dicks? And she's like, no, my roommate just like threw them at me because she didn't need them anymore. I'm like, who am I to refuse free condoms? <laughs> Seriously. Like literally like went through your purse and was like, what are these? Big penis coupons? Yeah, what is this? Is this like tickets to your big show? <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> So out. You need to leave. You need to get out. <laughs> what the? It's not my job to like, br like you know, give them to you. Also, it's like everybody should be bringing their own. So that way, if somebody forgets, then you still have one. Why was it even going through your stuff? Like whatever. Like, thanks. It that was, that was, was condom talk with geek remix. Yeah, it was a questionable time in my dating history. That's for sure. That was not on you, Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> Not on you. <laughs> I love how, like, Chloe's so chill about Max going through all of her shit. She never gets mad. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we already examined that, the right? The fact oh, that sorry. she put yeah. the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Oh, that's the door out. I want to look at everything. I just want to point out that everyone else gets mad at Max for snooping, but when Chloe catches Max snooping, she goes, Hey, Let's talk about it. And they sit and they talk about it. Mm -hmm. And then Max doesn't have to rewind. Kind of like when I come over to your house and just start, like, pawing through all of your shit. Because I don't feel like I need to hide anything from Stacy. She's like, what is this? A comic book about porn? And I'm like, yeah, it is. And she's like, neat. I'm going to read this here <laughs> while you're doing your thing on your computer. <laughs> Pay no attention to me reading smut in the corner. Hey, it's really nice. It's really well It is done. good stuff. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. Aww. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. Chloe's blonde. Aww. Kind of like a gingery blonde. Mm-hmm. That's so cute. You know what she kind of looks like? What's Who was 13 from House? Oh, Evan Rachel what? No, 13. Her name was 13. Oh, uh, Olivia Wilde. Yeah. I had such a crush on her when she was on the OC. Oh my god. Okay, who do we want to... What is Sparkle Horse? No, we're not doing that. I know what it is. We're not doing it. Let's... I don't know who Angus and Julia Stone are. We're so out of the loop. We're just gonna go with the only person. You know, I don't know who any of these are except for Bright Eyes. Me too.
Oh wait, we should stop this. I love this song. Damn it. <sighs> We're gonna get copyright striked. <laughs> oh. Can crap. I check out the news on this old laptop? Oh, at least we haven't been identified yet. Incident. Police and fire department responds to a break-in and vandalism on Blackwell Academy campus around 1.30 a.m. Police have not stated if they have any suspects yet. Incident. Police arrested a nude man with a sword at <laughs> Up All Night Donuts of Pick and Pal Road at approximately 8.25, 8.52 p.m. The unidentified man was charged with being under the influence of energy drinks and methamphetamines. He is being held without bail pending further investigation. Kids, please don't do methamphetamines. And energy drinks at the same time. Only one or at just, a time. Or just, yeah. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Blackwell student in stable condition. Following a public suicide threat at Blackwell Academy. It's not a suicide threat. It's a suicide attempt. I do not like it when people say that. Suicide threat? It was a su <sighs> Fucking That implies that, like, you are Word somehow... serious. It, well, it, it also implies that you're being like, I'm going to commit suicide. Like, it's some sort of, like, you're threatening other people that you're going to do it. It's like, no, this person is calling out for help. You're not, like, threatening. It, it makes it sound like it's, like, their problem. You know what I mean? You know what? Even if you think that's true, don't ever say that to somebody. Because what they hear is, I don't believe you. And if you ever fail at trying to kill yourself, it's just going to be worse for you. So that's what you they better think. That's fuck. What they think this is what hearing. they. This is this is what they he think they're hearing. I don't believe you. And if you ever like, it's going to get messed up in their head where they think I should never ever tell anybody if I'm sh suicidal yeah. and if I'm going to try and kill myself, I have to do it in the most definitive way possible. Ugh. Or the best way I know how. Yeah. Or like, yeah. Or that it's like not okay to ask for help and that I have to like keep things to myself and just, uh. And it's even a if it's like, oh, they just took like whatever, whatever. And I'm like, you don't know what they know. Because in their mind, they could have thought that's what it, what it was. It's to do also it. horrible to imply to somebody that them speaking out about their so suicidal thoughts morning, is somehow so threatening to you. Like, you're like, oh, I don't want to hear this because I, it makes me feel uncomfortable. Your sadness or your depression is like, I don't want to deal with it. Like, that's bullshit. You should say suicide attempt, not threat. That's fucking rude. Getting too into this. Goodbye. I'm done reading. <laughs> Yay, happy moments with Chloe. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. Aww. See? Just Chloe's smart. People don't give her credit for that. Mystic weather. <laughs> Mysticism. I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my pot. Time to put on your daily armor, Max. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Oh, I get that feeling. Yeah. Holy shit balls! Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. Oh. Uh, last message out of control. You don't need to use those words, even when you're threatening someone. Rude. Time to put on your daily armor, Max. I don't want to do it yet. Chloe doesn't seem too upset she didn't take that money from the handicapped fund. I think that, like, she... Why is it that, like, she... Because it happened two times. If it happened one time, I just would have thought she was just parking. Mm -hmm. But it's the parking and the fact that she wanted to take money from the handicapped. We're just pointing out themes right now. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what it means. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes. Yeah, that would yes, be great. Sadly, we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> well. 
Do you have a boyfriend? Yeah. Did you? It's so... You never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. No, no see, I don't even care. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Yeah. You crushed on Rachel? Ooh, it's happening! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. I... Everybody's flirting with each other and it's great. Hey, lazy ass, put some clothes on. Then we can no. scarf the awesome breakfast Joyce is cooking up. How early do these people wake up? I don't know. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. Can See I if you can clothes? find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Yes! Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. Damn it! But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? It's happening! I double dare you. Kiss me now. We do it! We do it! Right? We're gonna do it, right? Well, yeah, she dared us, so it's like you can't Look, not. She double dog dared us. We have to do it. <laughs> Geek Remix so, does not back down from a double dog dare. I'm just so shocked right now. <laughs> That's She's even taller than Max. Did you think about that? I, no, I was just like processing a lot of things at one time and then she goes, I dare you to kiss me. I'm like, uh, what? And, uh, well, first of all, Max and Rachel are the same size and I don't know if it's like Chloe trying to replace Rachel with Max. And I it's like, know what? And, but then it's also, I'm like, oh my God, they're the same size. Maybe they are the same person. Oh my God. No, that's so stupid. <laughs> you were overthinking it so much. Be we get a kiss. This is what happens when people ask me if they want to kiss me. This is the <laughs> this is the process that goes has to go through in three seconds. Uh, yeah, kiss her. I just you know, but like Chloe's in a weird emotional space right now, and then I'm like, what? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> This is like my whole thing. Like, and when someone's like, "Hey, do you want to kiss?" and I'm like, "I don't know. Are you a, like emotionally stable person? And what are we? Where are we going with this? And where?" Mine. Are... Mine. Okay, kiss. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance, unless he's into girl and girl action. Wait, you're what? such a dork. I don't understand. Oh man. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. I don't understand. What? Why are they acting like it's a joke? Oh, I'm a little disappointed. We're, let's put on the clothes. We're not taking it back. No, no, no. I'm not going to take it back. I'm just like, I thought it would be like solidified now. <laughs> Yeah. I had such high hopes. I'm really confused. I think Rachel's style is a little more subtle. Like me. I wonder if this is going to upset her. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? <laughs> 